Greetings everybody, I'm Amy Holmes bringing you today's hot list at The Blaze. To be a successful politician, you have to have a good ear, in tune with the public and able to calibrate your political notes. So it should come as no surprise that many of the men who've risen to commander in chief have music in their bones. Woodrow Wilson was a member of the Virginia Glee Club. Harry Truman practiced the piano two hours a day until he was 15. Thomas Jefferson apparently loved to hum himself a happy tune. And John Quincy Adams, by his own account, tried and failed to master the flute. Well, right now, the public may be throwing tomatoes at President Obama's job performance, but there was a time not so long ago when Obama hit all the right notes, literally. Uh, so in love. Now, Bill Clinton also knows how to seduce an audience with music. Here he is in the 1992 campaign, famously showing off his saxophone skills on Arsenio Hall, wailing out, appropriately enough, Heartbreak Hotel. Now, it might surprise you to learn that Richard Nixon was an accomplished classical pianist. Here he is in 1963 playing his very own composition, Richard Nixon Piano Concerto No. 1, on the Jack Parr program. Impressive! So get a politician who's literally tone deaf win the White House? We may soon find out. I'm Amy Holmes reporting to you from the Blaze Newsroom in New York City.